Hi, I'm Dr. Kiki Sanford, and you're watching Food Science. Today, we're talking about infrared thermometers. You're probably pretty familiar with this little thing called a kitchen thermometer. You stick it into whatever food you want to cook, and it tells you how hot that food is inside. But what if you wanted to know how hot the food was on the outside? Or say you wanted to know how hot your griddle surface is. Well, you don't want to touch it because you could end up burned. That's why science has come up with this handy little gadget called the infrared thermometer. Lots of recipes require that you bring cooking surfaces to particular temperatures. Like if you want to sear meat, the best temperature is 232 degrees Celsius exactly. Now I want to make pancakes and it requires a pretty narrow temperature range. To test the griddle, a lot of people will take water and see if it skittles across the surface. If it does, usually they'll decide that, hey, the griddle's ready to go. The problem is that water skittles across a wide temperature range from about 160 degrees to 230 degrees Celsius. I don't need that wide a range to make my pancakes. Remember, I need it very narrow. So I can use my infrared thermometer to tell how hot my griddle is to the tenth of a degree without even touching it. I just press a button and point the thermometer and it tells me that my thermometer is 184.3 degrees Celsius. Perfect for pancakes, but how does it work? It has an optical sensor. See right here, this little, little thing that looks like it should be a laser beam, but it's not, unfortunately. I wish it were a laser beam. You point it at a surface and the optical sensor reads the black body radiation that's emitted from the object in the infrared range of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's a little bit longer in wavelength than red. The color red is the longest wavelength of light that we can actually see. The best thing to do is hold your thermometer close to the surface of the object that you're measuring because each infrared thermometer has its own D to S ratio, that's distance to surface area. Mine's one to one. I wonder if my griddle is really ready for these pancakes. Let's measure it again. Looks just about right. Let's make pancakes. Aha. But remember, it's not just food, it's science.